I obviously need to do this. Lattes, coffees, caffeine. It's just my everything. So this makeup look is just very on brand for me. I needed to jump on the bandwagon. So here we are. We're gonna be doing the latte inspired makeup look, the viral trending makeup look that's going on right now. And essentially it is just a bronzy makeup look. I'm not sure the creator who decided to do this. So I will try to link them below, but I know that this is like a trend right now. I need to just sip on some coffee and do an inspired makeup look. So we're gonna get into it. I'm super excited. This is just like my jam. I love those types of tones, a very bronzy, Bronzy, almost caramelly, like bronze type of makeup look is my all time favorite. Although I haven't been doing too much eyeshadow lately, this is still going to be everything for me. So we're gonna get into it. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys subscribe. Perfect for all year round. It's also complimentary and flattering for everyone, I feel. I've also seen so many variations of this makeup look. I've seen matte, I've seen shimmer. So I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. I feel like I might do a mixture of both or just keep it simply matte. As we know, lattes have more of like that dimensional kind of beigey tone. So we're gonna keep it with the beigey caramel theme, of course. Probably should start it with my eyes, but I like doing the face first. I already did my moisturizer. My skin is already prepped. So I'm gonna go straight in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Booster. This is such a great product to put on first just because it gives you that glow, gives you that hydrated look, and it gives you a little bit of additional color depending on the shade that you get. I will be going in and mixing a little bit of this one when I do my bronzer, but of course you can go in with more of like the bronzing drops if you wanted to, to give it an additional bronzy tone. But I'm gonna keep it with my, almost my shade, I guess you can say but you totally can use more of like a bronzer. I'm gonna blend all that away with a damn beauty sponge. I think this one is the beauty blender and the nude version. So very on brand for this trend. Love the glow. You've seen me use this a million and one times. It is just one of those products that's from the drugstore, super affordable, gives you the most beautiful epic glow. And it is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury that we all know. When I saw all of these inspo photos right here, I was so inspired. I also saw Hailey Bieber do it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I love those tones. I've definitely done a look like this on my channel, but something with these tones just really makes me so excited. I mean, I love beige neutrals, nudes, coffee, lattes, all of that. So I figured, you know what? I know it's just another variation of what I've already done, but it's stunning. For the base, I'm gonna be underpainting. I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately. Whenever I underpaint, I feel like I use less foundation, which is always great. A lot of the inspo that I saw, I saw a lot of freckles peeking through or freckles over top of the makeup. And it was just like light base makeup and more focus on the eyes and like a light milky lip. So we are gonna keep the eyes the focus, like I said. So I'm gonna be underpainting so that avoids the face to have too much foundation. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Palette. Love this palette. I think it's great, very universal, and it's awesome for underpainting. You're not using a ton of product. It looks like skin. It's gorgeous. So I'm just gonna dab in this shade and this shade. I'm just gonna start right here and lightly apply the product in this area, a little bit of that warmth underneath, a little bit of the contour. It's not necessarily a contour. It's not the undertone that I would use for a contour, but I wanna keep this look more of like that warmer tone as opposed to cool tone. I'm just gonna add a little bit because later on, of course, we'll be adding more, but this just gives us a little bit where it'll peek through. And then I just bring it up into the hairline. I am gonna be using more of those tones on my eyelids. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of run right here because why not? It's gonna get there anyway. And this just gives more of a natural, subtle sculpt and natural tone. And then I'll also bring it up right here by the temples into the hairline. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do for underneath. And I can carve out more once everything's on. For foundation, I'm gonna take a little bit of my NARS Natural Radiant. This is one of my babies and I literally love the way my skin looks every time I use it. So I do like to go back and forth, but it's been one that I always go back to. I'm telling you, so, so natural literally like how it describes it is, it is. And then I'm just gonna mix a pump of my Makeup Forever HD Skin with it. This one's in the shade 2N26. It just looks like skin, so love that. I'm gonna take it on the It Cosmetics Dual Ended Brush. Apply all over the skin. Like I said, I wanna keep the skin really fresh and perfected like almost, but again, keep the eyes more of the focal point. So I don't need too, too much on the skin. So I'm just going to lightly stipple and blend down to the neck. I'm also not gonna do a ton of products on my nose today. I naturally have a little bit of freckles, so I feel like it's really cute if I just left it like so, so I wouldn't have to go back in and add them. Of course, I do wanna have it more carved out, so I will add a little bit more bronzer there, but I don't need to add too, too much foundation in my opinion. So I'm gonna leave that a little bit more bare today. The way that I have to be sipping on a coffee 
all the time is kind of crazy. Usually by this point, when I'm filming, I'll be finished with my morning coffee. So the fact that it's just sitting here, freshly like not touched is like, ugh, I need it. I pretty much go through like one or two coffees a day. Just my fave thing. How pretty. Like I love the combination of both of those foundations together. You still have a little bit of radiance to it, but it's definitely more like of like that perfected look, especially in the center of the skin, which I love. So I'll just tap a little bit on the nose ruined it away. Dominique Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade Frappuccino. Just sounded like it should go in this video. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here. A little here. A sponge to blend that in. Definitely if you feel more comfortable doing the eyes first, go for it. I don't know why I always go in and do the base makeup first. I think it's because I just love complexion and base products. I don't know. But I hardly ever do the eyes first. So if that's how you feel, go in for it. I'm gonna go in with Rare Beauty Contour Stick to sculpt the skin, but I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade seven to kind of deepen everything up a little bit and keep things bronzed. So we're gonna chisel and bronze, chisel and bronze. I'm going to apply it right here down my nose. I'm gonna save all of the forehead area with this one right here because I like the way that that looks. You blend all this in and I'm just blending upwards and pushing it to the back. Stunning. I'm also gonna be bringing it into my eye because like I said, that is going to be pretty much all brown and I want to have a little more definition in there anyway. So applying it all over here is gonna be perfect for this. Also extending it to like the brow, temple area, a great multi-use product. Love the formula, and they're just such a great tone. Mine is in the shade Happy Soul, and I really feel like it is like the most perfect tone for me, undertone and everything. A little bit of cream blush, and I'm kind of debating on which one. I do wanna keep this obviously bronzy, more of like that caramel, kind of undertone. I have the Persona one in the shade Teddy. Really, really pretty. It's more of like a, just like softened, almost coral, but like brownish tone blush. I love it. And then this one in Bahamas from e.l.f. So I don't know which one I wanna use. I'll try Teddy. Okay, yeah, I'll just do Teddy right here. Keeping the blush right above the contour we did. Oh yeah, so beautiful. Very subtle, minimal, but it's totally that latte vibe. I think that's really pretty. Again, that was Persona in the shade Teddy. Love that. Taking a bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow, like I said I was gonna do before, and just apply it right here, just to deepen that up just a bit. Laura Mercier Setting Powder, the Ultra Blur Setting Powder, and I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush to do so. I feel like this is one of the makeup looks I used to do all the time. Not as bronzy, but definitely like more of the tones that I would use when I didn't use any blush a couple years ago when I was like terrified to touch anything pink um, because I never really loved the blush look, you guys know. This just like kind of reminds me of that, but I think like better, I don't know. I love it. It makes me want to go back to using like the corally blushes and like deeper blushes like that as opposed to pink. I take the new Kylie Cosmetics matte palette such stunning shades and i think this is like everything for this makeup look i'm gonna go in and run the shade in nude all over my eye starting out by the crease though essentially this is going to be all over my eye i'm still debating if i'm gonna do a matte look or a little bit of shimmer i think just a hint of shimmer would be really pretty I feel like the dimensions in a latte is a bunch of different tones like this so i think a little bit of like a hint of a shimmer just looks kind of like it needs to be but i have seen so many different types so shade camel and put that all over the lid it's more of like a caramel tone really really pretty wow i have not done eyeshadow in a minute like literally so long i will say this color theme and like this tone really does make my eye color pop so if you have green eyes you might really love these tones and i feel like it's more of like a gradient type of look that i've been seeing just because obviously in a latte, you have multiple different tones and all of that. So I'm just gonna kind of give a little bit more of a dimension towards the outer area, maybe a little bit of a brown liner and call it a day. It doesn't need to be too extravagant. does not need to be too precise at all. Actually, I think this is more of like a not precise look. So that's great because that's more of my alley. So I'm going to buff that out of my eye area towards the brow, up into the temple. That makes everything look like 
snatched and just like uplifted, which is beautiful. I've really only been going in with the shade Camel, so that is awesome. Bringing a little bit right here, just to pinch the top of the nose and blending it back up into here. Now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette, one of my faves. I'm going in with the shade Maple, just tapping it right here towards the outer area. Then I'm gonna take the shade Golden Light and a touch of Shimmering Pearl. So it's a more of a gold and more of a champagne kind of mixed together. And I'm just popping that right into the inner area. But I just wanted something there. And going back in with the Kylie Cosmetics, just run that camel shade, mix with a little bit of umber, like slightest amount. I want more of the caramel than umber, but just a little bit more of that orangey tone to pull that shade and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line. A touch of chocolate to warm it up a bit and keep it a little less orange tone, just a little bit more brown. Just setting a bit more right here because I think that when I didn't use the powder puff in the center of my face, I was doing something funky. Taking Laura Mercier eyeliner in the shade bronze. It's just a beautiful brown. Closest to my lower lash line, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna put it in my inner waterline or if I'm gonna do a nude one in there so it kind of has like that gradient effect because you can do either way this has a tiny tiny bit of shimmer taking the essence nude eyeliner i'm lightly running that into my inner waterline but like super light because i do want to kind of deepen that up now with a little bit more of the brown i want to have a hint of this and more brown and of course add more shimmer to this i think i just want to keep it like so where it's more so matte, tiny pop in the inner corner. I take a little bit of Physicians Formula Bronzer. This is their Butter Bronzer. This is a contour palette. I'm leaning more towards this shade just to kind of give a little bit more of a bronze to the skin. I'm just lightly dusting over what we had before. Super pretty. A little bit of the Dior Highlights. I'm gonna take the shade right here. It looks like a perfect tone for this. A little bit on my brow bone. I'm gonna take a touch of Bare Minerals Blush in the shade Kiss of Copper. Beautiful, I think it goes so well with this look. On a stretch of wearing no lashes, sometimes I'll do the ones from Kiss, but I've really been enjoying the way my lashes look. I'm just gonna run a little bit of this gel through my eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. I'm gonna use a brown mascara today. I'm really feeling that. I'm also going to go ahead and take a little bit of brown eyeliner. This one is from Persona, the shade brown. I'm gonna run that into my upper inner waterline of my eye, just to give a little bit more. It's gonna just be more like a tight line. This is gonna make the lashes look fuller. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. Essentially does pull, almost looking black, but I kinda go like on an angle, just so the lashes kinda have like that swoop look to them. And they're not just all upright because sometimes mine definitely like go down after a while and they don't stand straight up. I lose the curl. That's just how my lashes are. So I do like to have them more on that way. My bottom lashes are so long that I actually take some of the mascara off because I don't like how long they are and they like touched my concealer. For lips, I'm going in with the LA Colors lip liner in the shade Cappuccino. Ooh, we really just have a whole mixture of coffee going on in this video. I did not do that on purpose either. For this, in all the photos that I saw, it was more so of brownish type of lip liner, very neutral, and then more of like a clear gloss on top or like a milky clear gloss on top. Super pretty. No matter if it's subtle or bold that you have the eyes, just mainly keeping it more of that brownish warm tone is the main focal point. Taking a touch of the Too Faced lip liner. This is the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Liner in the shade Puffy Nude. I think this is gorgeous. I love the way this actually does plump the lips. It's so crazy. It's a lip liner and makes them plump. I, I absolutely adore it. So I'm just mixing a little bit on the outer edge and blending it inward just a little bit. These shades are super similar. This one's a little bit more of a pinky nude. This one is more of like a brown nude. So I do just kind of like the mixture of it. Taking a little bit of MAC Honey Love Lipstick. This is an OG, but a goodie. A little stamp of it and you're good to go because I don't want to overdo it. And lightly tap. That clear gloss effect, that like milky, sheared out look in the middle. Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper, one of my favorite lip glosses. Also for my body glow that I have right on my shoulders and my chest, I'm using the Minim LA from Laura Lee. This is the body glow oil. I'm obsessed with this. It smells like vanilla, but a really, really pretty, like almost a fragrance. Like it is 
amazing so i would highly recommend just have that all over my chest and body i think this just adds to the look super stunning and i love to glow this look is not really about so much glowing but that bronzy moment definitely pulls that i'm also going to take just a touch of the kylie cosmetics gloss in the shade gorgeous girls it's just a beautiful like nude milkier toned i know i keep saying that but like a milkier toned type of lip gloss i'm just gonna pop a tiny bit in the center so this is my take on the latte inspired makeup look another bronzy type of look and i'm so here for it i love more of these tones i think it's really complimentary i'm gonna have all these products for you listed and linked in the description box in case you are interested and i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and i will see you in the next one bye